Hey, this is Simon Scriver. And this is Nikki Bell. We are running a virtual fundraising conference on November 19th. It's called Fundraising Everywhere, and you can find it at fundraisingeverywhere.com. There's some amazing speakers that we've got lined up for you. We've got some names on there that you will be familiar with and some speakers that you may not have heard before, but all of them will be sharing amazing fundraising methods that are proven to work. And they will be teaching us how to do that in our own charities. We've tried to make it really affordable for all organizations, but for small charities, it is completely free. free. So go look at it at fundraisingeverywhere.com. Register now. Join us. It will be accessible. It will be affordable. And it is amazing. Yes. You're listening to Simon Scriver's Amazingly Ultimate Fundraising Superstar Podcast, talking all things fundraising, charities, nonprofits, and more. Here's your host, as always, Simon Scriver. Hey, I am back. This is Simon here, um, and I'm back from my holiday. It's been like three weeks, three and a half weeks. I was in Thailand with my son. We were swimming every day. We were having an amazing, amazing time, um, and I'm just getting back into it now. Uh, while I was away, obviously, I had the guest host, and I really want to thank everyone who did a guest host stint. Sam LaProud, Clay Buck, Julia Worthington, Matt Zakiri, Sarah Lyon, and then the ladies of the Institute of Fundraising Community Fundraising Special Interest Group. They were Millie Coulter, Sarah Goddard, Emily Ruff, and Alice Castle. Can you believe I remembered all those names just off the top of my head? I don't think it's the last we're going to see of some of those guest hosts. Uh, I want to make the guest host feature a regular thing now and then, and hopefully some of them will agree to come back. And if anyone listening wants to have a stint at guest hosting, you don't want to commit to a podcast forever but you just want to do an episode then please do get in touch my email is simon at changefundraising.com um, and so i'm back i'm going to be back i have some cool guests lined up as usual and we're going to keep going with the quick tips and today is a quick tip episode ease me back into it with a nice short episode and this quick tip is i suppose very relevant for me and maybe relevant for you over the summer holidays it's about getting back into it so when you come back from your holiday, from your summer holiday, or your bit of time off, or whenever your holiday is, and then you get back to your fundraising job, and it can be, and generally is a massive bummer. Um, no matter how much you love your job, it can be a bit shitty, especially if you work in an office. I'm thankful that I no longer have to work with people in an office, or work with people too much at all. Um, but but the idea of coming back into an office can sometimes be such a drag. And especially, you know, if you don't like your job or if you're thinking about moving on, it can be even worse. So let's talk about how we can kind of ease that, uh, ease yourself back into it, what you're going to do in those first few days. And I mean, all of this is going to be about not putting pressure on yourself and not doing too much. So first of all, what I recommend doing is you leave your out of office on. If you've put your out of office reply on on your email, uh, I would leave it on. I would say you're back, going to be back a different day from when you're going to be back. Give yourself that buffer of one or two uh, two days where it, you know there's not the expectation that you're going to reply to people. You are out of the office, um, but you're still in dipping in. You know, if you've been um, uh, good enough not to check your email while you've been away. I remember uh, years ago I sent someone an email and they were out of the office and their out of office said. Um, said, when I get back, I will be deleting every email in my inbox, so please re-email me after this date. And I just thought that was uh, something we can all aspire to. Um, you're going to have like a whole bunch of emails in your email inbox if you haven't checked it for even a couple of hours. Um, and so what you want to do is you want to go through and delete all the dumb shit that doesn't uh, need anything done. So mailing lists that you're on, just delete them. Um, emails that you've been CC'd into, which really take no action point, delete them or file them, get them out of there. You want to just like pull out everything out of your inbox that isn't going to require you to take action. Today, we're not really going to be taking any action in our, you know, in our first day back. We're just going to be clearing out the bump and the fluff. So you might take note, you might see a th few things, which is like, okay, I'm going to have to do something. We'll keep those in the in our inbox and we'll come back when our head is in a bit, better place. But today is just about getting those 200, 300, 500 emails down to the 10 or 20 uh, where we actually have to do something with them. Just clear them all out. Um, you're going to start to construct a to-do list, but you're not really going to do much. You're going to start writing down things that you're going to have to do, action points that you pull out of these emails and that you know are in your in-tray or that you've perhaps thought of. 
create that to-do list, put it into a manageable um, list where you can see, okay, this is actually the stuff I have to do. There's no harm having that list, list there, but don't feel the pressure of having to start getting through it. You're only just back, man. You're literally, you're still on holiday as far as I'm concerned. Uh, you're going to want to start to talk to positive staff around you. So try and stay clear of the negative people that you hate, people who are a real bummer. Um, find your tribe and, and the friends that you have within um, that office and, and let them uh, warm you back up, let them buzz you back up. Don't get into the negative people. Just avoid those people. Um, whatever it takes to not talk to people who are going to make you feel really shitty about being back. Find your positive staff. Um, you were going to, as fundraisers, you know, we're always asking questions of staff. We're always asking questions of beneficiaries. A lot of what we do is talking to other people around the office. And so let's go ahead and keep doing that. We'll keep asking questions. We'll keep having that, those conversations. Um, but just don't go into it expecting to talk about yourself. Uh, ask questions. It's good for fundraising and it's good for your mental health. If you find yourself, um, you know, sometimes the expectation is that people are going to ask you about your holiday. People are going to be interested in you. Majority of people aren't interested in you. And, you know, <laughs> most people don't give a shit about your holiday. Um, and that's fine. Just don't like, don't get annoyed if people aren't asking the right questions or ask you one or two questions and then move on to the work stuff. Um, that's not a bad thing. You know, like our holidays, our lovely private time, the things we do with our friends and family and loved ones, that can be our own precious little secret that we keep inside of us. We don't have to share it. We don't have to have... Um, every every idiot um around us asking questions about it showing them photos and stuff like that and the, t the times that we get upset and depressed are when we have an expectation um that people should be interested in that stuff the reality is, is in the same way you don't give a shit um about margaret's trip to tenerife it's it's the same thing people don't really care about you or they're jealous of of your trip so just change your expectations around that keep it with yourself keep it with the people that you love keep it with the positive people around you and everyone else. It's just, it's a working relationship. That's the sad reality. Um, find some other stuff in your work you can do, which is positive and beneficial to fundraising and easy. Uh, things I love to do in the early days coming back from a holiday, things like thank you calls or writing thank you cards. They're lovely. They're good for our fundraising. They raise more, help us raise more money. Um, but they're also a nice, easy thing to uh, reintegrate ourselves back into our working schedule and also um, to remind us how good fundraising is. Because fundraising is great. It's just sometimes when you take a break from it, you kind of forget that. Spend those first few days, maybe do some training, Check, um, catch up on some blogs or some um, you know, online training or videos that maybe you haven't seen. That's a good way to feel like you're working, good way to feel like there's personal development and you're in the right headspace without having too much of a commitment or too much effort from you. You can just sit there and drink your tea and learn, you know, try and learn something without actually um, doing too much work. Talk to other fundraisers, yeah? Fundraisers get uh, fundraisers excited about fundraising. Um, so, just, you know, set up a coffee, set up a lunch with some of your other fundraisers who are in the local area. Go online to places like Fundraising Chat or onto LinkedIn and find other cool fundraisers that you know and talk to them on there. They will get you excited, see what they're doing, talk to them. They'll empathize with you uh, and everything you're going through. We recharge and regenerate by talking to other fundraisers. So do use that time. It's a nice, easy thing to do. Go and gossip and find out what you've missed while you've been away. And then self-care. You know, self-care is always positive, but it's especially going to be positive when you come back uh, to maybe crappy weather um, or a crappy office environment or, you know, a job that you're just not really ready to slot back into yet. So do whatever it is that you do for self-care. Drink a lot of decaf tea. Take a walk around the block. Look out the window. Um, get out of there at lunchtime. Don't sit in the you know in the really depressing staff canteen. Get out of there. Get into the into a park. Get into a coffee shop. Make yourself feel like you're still on holiday. Try something new. Treat your own city like it's a, a tourist destination, and just ease yourself um, back into it. And book your next holiday. Yeah, you know, my uh, a few years ago I started doing a thing where basically I would. Uh, when I'm on a holiday, I would book my next holiday. And so no matter when I come back from a holiday, I always know um, my next holiday is in the calendar and lined up. It's a lovely way to, to live. Um, I mean, overall, you know, just wrapping up, the key thing here is is don't feel you have to be doing loads. Don't put that pressure on yourself. Go easy on yourself. If you want to do fuck all in your first day back, do fuck all. If you want to do fuck all for the first few days, um, do fuck all. Just ease yourself into it. Chip away at the little things to get yourself going. Don't expect to do too much. You know, you don't have to reply to any emails in your first day. Just clear out some of them and make it easier um, for when the regenerated 
um, and maybe a bit more able you comes into office on the second day or the third day. And then we're really, really going to get back into it. Welcome home. Welcome home to me. Welcome home to you. Hope you all had a good holiday, a good summer. I mean, we still have some more time left, don't we? Um, and really, our whole lives can be a holiday. And we're very privileged. Life is a holiday. Um, but thank you for tuning back in again. We've got a, a great interview coming up on Thursday and uh, another quick tip coming up next week. Take care. You've been listening to Simon Scriver's Amazingly Ultimate Fundraising Superstar Podcast. Don't forget to subscribe and head over to changefundraising.com to learn more or get in touch with Simon. Or don't, whatever, if you're big enough to make your decisions. Hey, this is Simon Scriver. And this is Nikki Bell. We are running a virtual fundraising conference on November 19th. It's called Fundraising Everywhere, and you can find it at fundraisingeverywhere.com. There's some amazing speakers that we've got lined up for you. We've got some names on there that you will be familiar with and some speakers that you may not have heard before, but all of them will be sharing amazing fundraising methods that are proven to work, and they will be teaching us how to do that in our own charities. We've tried to make it really affordable for all organizations, but for small charities, it is completely free. free. So go look at it at fundraisingeverywhere.com. Register now. Join us. It will be accessible. It will be affordable. And it is amazing. Yes.